a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. Okay guys, I am here in Acania. I'm going into Ross and I just dropped my husband at a meeting not too far away from here. So um, I'm gonna go into Ross and kill time in there. And then, gosh, I really don't feel like shopping or I don't really have, let's put it this way, I don't have anything to buy, but that I need actually, but I'm going to go ahead and just browse around in there and you never know, might find something interesting or cute. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then uh, take you guys in with me. All right. It's raining right now though too. Um, I don't think I'll need the umbrella. Okay. I'll just grab a bag and we'll go in. All right.
It's raining out there. Ruby Tuesdays, here we come. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, folks, this is what I'm having for lunch. I have a grilled salmon. Delicious. Okay. Thank you. And this is my salad. It's fully loaded. Yeah. Fully loaded, people. And this is my girlfriend's salad. Hers looks delicious too. And uh, ham chowder soup. Yay! We're gonna eat. Check back in with you later. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here and show you real quick, um, share with you the tomato soup that I'm making. Um, it's really easy, really fast, and right now I'm in the stages of sauteing my vegetables, which they're about done already. So in this pot, I added um, onions, celery, carrots, and it's done. Four tablespoons of butter, grass-fed butter, if you can. I'm going to add my tomato paste, and you would add one fourth cup of this. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. Okay, we're gonna cook that down in the Instant Pot. Once the tomato paste has melded together with the vegetables and the butter, the next thing I will do is add in the chicken broth and crushed organic crushed tomatoes. These are the other ingredients. Put you down for a second. Organic crushed tomatoes, four ounces. Um, free range organic chicken broth, which calls for six cups, and I have exactly six cups here. And then you're gonna add, I think it's one and a half teaspoons of salt and one cup of heavy whipping cream. This will be at the end after the soup has boiled. It's really easy. What I'll do is link the recipe in the description. I'm not sure if there is an actual link to the recipe. So if there isn't, I'll just add the recipe to the description myself. I'm gonna go ahead and add crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna set it on low, and I'm gonna set the, it's on six minutes, perfect, start. I'm gonna let that take its course, and then I will have the cream. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you the end result of the soup. What I can do is I will put it in a bowl. I'll put it in a bowl so you can see. Okay. This is the end result. I mean, it's not like a creamy, creamy soup. Of course, you can probably do that if you'd like. It has the celery, onions, the crushed tomatoes. It is really good. All right, that's all I have for this evening. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys again on the next video. All right, take care.